Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the next video in our Little Wars TV Scotch tasting series. A bit of whiskey right now to warm the inside sounds perfect, so let's pour a dram. In this video, we will travel to the west coast of Scotland to the island of Isla for the peated single malts Belmore and Lefroy. Joining me at the bar this evening is Dieter. I'm always up for some peated whiskey. What are we going to try first? Uh, well, I'm thinking age before beauty, but I'm going to let our friend Will from Scotland do the uh, introduction first. Hi folks, Will here. Today we're going to talk about Bomore. That's Bomore. And Bomore is the oldest working distillery on the beautiful island of Isla off the west coast of Scotland. It was founded in 1779. Uh, a lot of people in Scotland and other parts of the world call it Bowmore. In fact, I used to as well. But the Elichs, the locals to Isla, have uh, corrected me and made sure that I pronounce it correctly, which is Bowmore. And uh, Bowmore also uses its excess heat from the distillery to heat the water of the swimming pool next door. Pretty cool. Tonight's first dram will be Bowmore. I think I said that right. Yeah, Bowmore, Bowmore, 12 year old. To peat bogs. That's sweet and smooth. A little, the smokiness is at the end, but it's it's somewhat subtle. It's it's interesting that the the peat doesn't hit you up front like it does with a lot of the exactly the malts. Yeah, it's good. I've, I've never had it before. I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, that's very good. Peat is used in the drying process of the barley malt. The longer that the barley roasts under the peat, the smokier it gets. On the mainland, it's not used much at all, but on Isla, they're known for it. So everyone in the previous videos talked about the Wall of Heroes. Um, who's your choice? Uh, Admiral Lord Nelson. I got really deep into the Age of Sail stuff. Uh, a little bit before 2005, uh, we did a big uh, Trafalgar game, and I think the Master and Commander had come out just oh, like yeah, a few right. years before that. And I just took a deep dive into that, read all the Patrick O'Brien books, like all 21 novels. Yeah, every time there's a, a sale game here in the club, it seems that you're, you you like to be involved in that. What are, what other uh, videos have you been in with the club? You've been in the, the Marango video, mm -hmm. uh, the Fallujah video that yeah. I did. And uh, I was also in the Kawanakajima, if I said that correctly. A uh, video in a stunning t-shirt that I bought uh, specifically to display <laughs> my knowledge of and appreciation of Japanese history and culture. <laughs> to t-shirts. That's a very good dram, but I think it's time for our second dram of the evening, Lafroy 10-year-old. Okay. Let's do it. Hi folks, Will here. Today we're going to talk about Lafroig. That's Lafroig. Uh, Lafroig is situated on the beautiful south coast of the Isle of Isla. It was founded in 1815 and Lafroig translates as the beautiful hollow beside the broad bay because it is in a beautiful hollow beside a broad bay. A lot of people think it tastes like sheep dip. I think it tastes amazing. Uh, Prince Charles has also given it his uh, seal of approval by giving it a royal warrant. Slangeva. Very different than the Bamore. Yeah, yeah, a little more bite, a little more peat. But the beginning, I think, in the Lafroy tends to be fruity. I can see that, yeah. A hair sweet at the beginning and then everything slowly builds. Yeah, and then it builds up into a peat, the smokiness. Yeah. Those are two very different, but they're, they're, and they're both about the same price um, between in the United States between 45 and $50 a bottle. What, what other peat flavored or peaty whiskeys that you do enjoy? Um, I like Ardbeg uh, when I just want just a lot of peat and smoke flavor, um, but really Lagavulin I think is a really nicely balanced Ila malt. Um, it has uh, kind of a sweet, almost a uh, highland finish to it, but with the, the smokiness up front. Yeah, I've, I've had Ardbeg. I've, I've had Ardbeg recently, but I don't think I've had Lagavulin recently. I should try that one. Yeah, Crack was, that one out soon. It was the <laughs> Brian Cox video for GQ where he Like a through, death bomb. Yeah, he, he explained <laughs> the proper pronunciations <laughs> for all the single malts. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And he was such a fan of it. That was a great video. That yeah. was great. So, Dieter, what's your favorite historical genre to game? Uh... Lately, I would say it's probably uh, World War II air combat. 
Uh, we've been pl uh, we play a lot of check your six in the club, yeah. and it's easy for me to run those because there's not a lot of miniatures to paint. Yeah. <laughs> a handful of planes. Yeah, that's true. And, there's, yeah, and they're not very big either. So, which one did you like best tonight, Dieter? Uh, tonight I liked the Bamor better, uh, but I definitely don't think there's anything wrong with the Lefroig. And were I in the mood for the amount of peat it has, I would I would have a bottle of both. All right, it's time for us to say goodbye this week. I think Dieter and I will stay here a few moments longer and finish these delicious drams. Thanks for Will and his excellent videos and his work over in Scotland. You can check him out over in stockhamscorner.com. And as always, if you enjoyed it, like us, comment, let us know what your favorite peated whiskeys are.